If you're watching this and you look in the upper left corner, you see we're at 1,501 cycles and wondering why are we at 1,501 cycles? We've skipped so many cycles. Well, that's because there's a really good chance that I have lost an episode. For the first time in hundreds of episodes, I have lost an episode. I'm really bummed about that, actually, but it's okay. It's okay. We've got plenty of work that we've done uh, and there's plenty of work to do. So it's totally fine if we miss one episode. I guess it's fine. I'll recap what it is that we lost uh, to you guys. So first off, uh, you can see that I've added, uh, I've re-added expanded lights. I've added trash cans because as I mentioned before, there's a bunch of stuff uh, above the base that I want to get rid of like permanently. And I was thinking of using the, uh, the infinite storage thing where you just drop things on the ground and just keep them out of reach of dupes. And that was going to be the way that I was going to deal with it. But I think this makes more sense. Sense. Just use trash cans mod. I was gonna junk the stuff anyways. Let's just go ahead and use something to actually get rid of it. Trash can mods let you throw away solids, liquids, and gases. Um, I don't know if I really necessarily get rid of gases. I guess maybe for the steam room, <laughs> but I feel like we kind of got that under control, which you guys weren't even here for. So, uh, so yeah, if if you if you got if I do manage to somehow recover the file that is gone, excuse me, that is gone. Um, well, <laughs> then, uh, then I, guess, I guess we're good. I guess we're on track. But uh, more than likely, as I'm looking at the, the folder right now, uh, I have a habit of 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 uh, permanently deleting things that are large. So that way, it just just doesn't like build up in the in the recycle bin. I just get rid of it whenever I think I'm done with it. And you know, typically, I I, uh, I double check these things to make sure things are fine. But lately, things have been pretty crazy, and I guess I just let this one slip through. So my apologies. Yes, we're missing an episode, and it sucks. <sighs> But again, I will go ahead and explain things that that maybe were missed the that if, if the last episode is gone forever. So first off, there is a sauna inside of a sauna. Hence the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, there's a sauna inside of a sauna. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted a way to convert some of that steam uh, into in, in, into liquid. And this seems to be working, but I also did a couple other things as well. Uh, I bypassed the aqua tuners because aqua tuners are generating heat. And the plan is, I don't know if it's gonna work, but the plan is if I could get this water level high enough again, I'm gonna line these guys up in a row and then I'm going to block them off like this and keep them in their own insulated square. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be here. It's just easier to work with if they're kind of in an accessible area, right? Um, and the reason why I want to do that is because they are uh, because these things are heating up everything out here and keeping this room hot. So what I did was I bypassed it. So now the water just goes right past it. It sucks because it's, it's also having a negative impact over here where these things are getting a little too hot now. Body temperature. These things are at what? Uh, 86.3 degrees. So they're just over temperature because of uh, be because I did this. So um, and this is kind of an awkward thing. What's going on here? Yeah, it's too much weird back and forth here. There we go. Um, and so, so yeah, like we're, we're going to have to do something with the hot water that we have accumulating everywhere. Uh, actually, it looks like we have too much, too much water accumulating everywhere because backing up to here, it's 174 degrees. So it is going to slowly heat things up. You can see it's having a negative impact of, of the uh, uh, down here. And keep in mind, these plastic tiles are pretty insulated. So it does take quite a bit of heat to uh, to, to warm them up, which means it's probably just going to take quite a lot of heat to uh, cool, or quite a lot of uh, cool air to uh, cool them down. Over here, I've been slowly working on. It looks like it's uh, getting pretty close to... Uh, it's getting there. Uh, over the last episode, the missing episode, I was going through and slowly bringing down the temperature here um, by flooding the room with, uh, by lowering the temperature here and then flooding the room with cold air and just start, well, cold uh, carbon dioxide and I fixed the loop on this. I think I fixed this loop actually on the first episode of this week. Um, anyway, so now it's cycling around here until it gets down to like a pretty cool, like what? Uh, let's see. Let's see this. It's at uh, 35.6 degrees. So that's it's probably about as cool as I want I want it to get. Um, but it it is it is slowly winning the war down here. There's not a whole lot of carbon dioxide. It's barely I mean barely a, you know one kilogram uh, per tile. So it's going to eventually uh, cool itself off and it'll it'll be fine. Uh, let me see elsewhere elsewhere. I did this as well, uh, which this kind of works, but also not like it's the, the whole thing is with this with, with this uh, here is um, Declan hold, what what's up? Hey, excuse me. Hey, hey, you hear me talking? What time is Why not? You hear me talking? Yeah. What do you say? Nada. What do you say? Excuse me. There you go. What's up? I finished. You finished? Yep. Okay, show me after this. Oh Wait, wait, you finished work uh, schoolwork? Perfect. Okay, now you're free to do what you want, except for YouTube. 
<laughs> All right. Summertime, I have this guy set up on uh, on uh, on some uh, science projects, and uh, like today we made paper airplanes. Yesterday we made a uh, uh, what is it called? Um, like a planetarium kind of thing using a cereal box, we punch a bunch of holes in the cereal box, and then uh, shine a light through it in a, in a dark bathroom, and it puts like stars all over the place. We did one of those, and uh, day before that we did uh, oh, I don't remember, but yeah, we're just we're just going through and doing like some basic stuff, some basic math, just kind of keep him fresh, so that way when he starts second grade, he's not having to relearn some of these things again. Which they'll probably reteach him all this stuff again, of course, but uh, at least we won't have to worry about actually relearning all that stuff. So this room is a fail. Let's go and get rid of this. <laughs> These things are fine, I guess, but still, this whole room is just a mess. Uh, eventually, we'll find something to do with it, but that's not a right now thing. Uh, our food supplies are doing great. I added a, uh, a better gate here. Again, some of this may be recap of the first episode of the week, but uh, hopefully not episode 100. So, uh, But if not, then yeah, I added a, uh, a, a signal selector here, so that way we have a more complex setup with, uh, with, with, the, with the fridges and keeping everything stocked up. Um, Obviously, this does have to be part of it, but you know, as long as, as long as there's room to uh, to throw food in there, then boots will get in there and work, and then it'll get stored. Actually, it should. Uh... Oh, I wonder why. Usually, Let's see edible. What was that? That was a uh, bristle berry, wasn't it? Maybe it was a bristle berry. Maybe it was gristle berry sitting on the ground, but it's still on here. Um, anyways, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that today. Right now, my focus is making sure this thing gets back up to where it needs to be, which I think I've made the changes to make that happen by lowering the temperature in here and forcing it to um, just add cooler air to the mix. I mean, this air right now is 93 degrees, so that's that's gonna <laughs> that's not great. But it doesn't have its own it does not have its own dedicated source of oxygen, so. Um, yeah, it has to piggyback off of what basically everything else is doing. And it has a pretty complex... Oh, actually. Um... So it is... It isn't actually controlling any... Uh, I see. Yeah, so this this room... These rooms over here are controlling the temperature. These are just controlling the flow. So while these are... Uh-oh. Oh, weird. I... Uh, while these are doing great at keeping the pumps moving, uh, it doesn't necessarily control the temperature of the gases that's coming back into the room. So, but still, the cycle is good. You know, hot, warm air, well, cool air in, it warms up, we eject it, and then we go uh, start over again. Um, I was gonna do. I was gonna see what this is. Call and call I haven't clicked on this in forever. Let's see. It's uh, I don't know what it did there. <laughs> I don't know which one opened up. But we have a lot of things uh, done here. I've never gone for like a completion. They try to get all the achievements or anything like that. But geez, this is tons. Some of them, there's there's no way I could do it because of the uh, uh, because of where we're at in the build. Like you have to start at the, the beginning and specifically build towards a certain thing. Like you can't use blank things for 100 cycles or whatever. They're more like challenges. It's a lot of carbon dioxide build up at the bottom here. I don't know what the deal with that is. Let's see, we got lots of cool oxygen here wreck that place this is I believe this is, is working but we really 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 need to cool down this water and I just can't do it until we get enough water to fill up a uh, small bin what if I should go ahead and just start building the bin now I added uh, stairs scaffolding so that way we can we can do builds without necessarily building like a whole bunch of this uh, well I'm sorry it's without having to remove things in order to build a whole bunch of those things but speaking of actually um oh these rooms are actually not maxed out I wonder why See, comfy bed, gas vent. There's also crap on the ground still. These guys. Clean this stuff up, man. Clean it up. Oh, there's only. Oh, it's mostly on the bottom floor. Most. Oh, yeah, it's up here. So let me find a room that doesn't have stuff laying around, which is pretty rare. Everything. Just about everything has stuff. Here we go. So 89. So we could actually ramp this up a little bit by adding some uh, molding. Let's do that. Just to kind of cap this off. Let me see. Corner molding, and then we can add that to just about every room. What is it made out of? We got a granite. Granite, twenty percent. Boop, boop, boop. Good. Do all these. I mean, just this alone might be enough, really, just to top it off. We need one hundred and twenty. It's funny because my dupes are not complaining at all. The morale is super high and all that stuff, but, you know, th th that stuff changes. <laughs> that stuff will change. At a, at a, what, at the drop of a dime or the flick of a wrist, all it takes is just 
one 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 issue with the with the oxygen system, and then all of a sudden everyone's gonna start freaking out, or the bathrooms don't work, and everyone starts freaking out. Let's stop it real quick, that we can get and put these things in. Oh, how nice it changed! God, I hate it does that. I hate when it does that. I really do. So okay, so some of them are made of sandstone, some are made of granite. Either way, they're gonna give a uh, boost to morale, so not that big of a deal. Oh man, let me see. We came in here, we sold a bunch of oh, that's the other thing I did. Came here, sold a bunch of Drekos. Uh, in here, and also across the asteroid, anywhere I could find some over here. I grabbed these guys, pulled them out. And down here, there was a couple, and I grabbed them and pulled them out as well, and the morb fell in there, so rip, rip morb. And then those guys are up here chilling. Ta da! So we are now making phosphorite because we were running low on phosphorite. And instead of. I, I, instead of trying to build more machines in order to resolve issues, uh, I decided let's go ahead and try just building. You know, just uh, building a more natural way of collecting some of these resources that we need. And I believe that works. I believe that works. Speaking of, how's this doing? 20 watts? What up? Oh, over time, this is really actually doing a lot of work. <laughs> I promise it is. Okay. So. So, so, so. Mafic rock across everything. Lots and lots of mafic rock. Some granite here at 186.2 degrees. Some regolith. Um, I, 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 I seriously think I'm going to just eject all this stuff. Let me just figure out how I want to do that. Solid trash can. We'll put it here and then just what? Just uh, have it automate? It's not too hard to do. Let me see. So we'll put that here, and then we'll put shipping. We'll put this guy here, and then what we'll do is, well, actually, we don't have to do that at all. We can just leave that there and just connect it. Oh yes, yes, yes. The first we we will need to at first do this, and then what'll happen is we'll start to move stuff in here. So what we'll do is this will get built. And we'll tell it to store regolith, and then we'll have it, it'll go through and it'll destroy this, it'll destroy this, it'll empty them out, uh, most of them anyways. And then we'll, uh, we'll cut it down, and then move this sweeper down more and more and more and more, and just let it autom just automate it, let it just dump all that stuff. And we're just gonna get rid of it. Like, we haven't needed it for how long? And it's all mafic rock and regolith, with regolith, which is tons of, so... I'm not terribly worried about it. I'll leave, like, a few bins, like, over here, but I don't need, I don't need this many, that's just too much. Um, I'm not interested in doing that right now. <laughs> I'm just not interested in doing that. Let me see. Oh, it's, we're gonna need our own generation up here too. That's what that was supposed to be for. That's what that was supposed to be for. Man, an iron ore, steel, a couple steel and one iron ore. Oh man, we could block it off and then pump some gas in there. Hydrogen maybe, but that's gonna be... Well, actually we could do that. Yeah, let me see. So the plan was, and it didn't work out. Yeah, hmm, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me think here. Problem is, it will infinitely get warmer as these things go. And they can put out their own gas, too, so, yeah, I think this is just a bad idea. Oh, you know what? We don't have enough coal anyways. <laughs> That's right, we don't have coal anymore anyways. We got rid of all of it. So let's go ahead and just set those to eject, or, uh, to destroy. And then this is supposed to be what? What was in here? Regolith. Oh, that's right. We were trying to cool the regolith. Yeah, see all of this stuff. This is why I wanted to just tear it all down and start over. Except for this. This is genius. This is pretty genius. <laughs> uh, fertilization. What is any fertilization? Just, uh... Here we get fertilization. Just dirt. Oh, dirt was something we were, run we, we were running low on as well. Anyways, man. Ugh. Just rookie. Just a rookie trying to get in there and try to do all that work and then end up, uh... Failing miserably. And natural gas vents going. This thing should be getting colder. I kept shutting it off to, to force it to get colder, and it's working. Negative 40 now. We could drop that thing to let's do negative 75. That's a big jump. That's a big jump, jump we've done so far. I think 20 degrees is what we've done before, and so that's going to shut off the liquid uh, going in. So the liquid's now stopped. So these things are going to stop growing, which is fine. We have plenty of kilocalories to last us, and uh, this is going to continue. This is going to continue getting cold. And then once that gets to negative 75, then it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and go. So that's great. Uh, that means we could put in we could put in a probably a nice steady stream of liquid, and it won't necessarily impact this. We could put in a smaller stream of liquid, as I should say, and it could be a constant drip. But it's all automated, so it's just gonna run on its own. So I guess we could just leave it alone. Also, I'm waiting for this bubble to disappear here because that will tell me that we are 
uh, putting in more than we're taking out. It's just the problem is that people aren't taking enough, uh, <laughs> they're not taking enough breaks. I wonder if I could... I don't think it's possible. I'm thinking like, is there a way to get a tube in here? I mean, of course I could just punch a hole somewhere, but, but do I want to do that? Like, that's a lot of heat that I'll be like letting out. 215 degrees versus what is it out here? 165 degrees. So that's a, that's a pretty significant difference. Some 50 degrees there. Are these guys, guys backed up? It looks like they are. We see stuff in there. What is igneous rock, lumber, abyss light, sleet, wheat, grain. God, why does that stuff keep getting in there? Ah, oh, man. It's you, isn't it? Seed. We should just, like, not do any more seeds in here. That's the end of that. Let's see, manufacturing material. Glass, plastic, steel. That's fine. Let's see, edible. No edible. No critter eggs. Cooking ingredient. Consumable. Agriculture. What is this? Dirt, fertilizer, phosphorite. Now we have enough places elsewhere for that. See edible, liquefiable, just on trouble check, medicine, organic, what is this then? Allergy, pollute, deer, raw pile, nope, good. And refined metal. Right, go ahead and put that in there as well. So we go over here then, and we see what are we what are we missing here? So I'm guessing it's the seed that's blocking it off. It's not. Uh organic? Nope. What is uh Okay, now it's moving. Well what's what's the deal with this guy? Oh, because it's a, uh, four. There we go. Ah, uh. <laughs> Something so simple. And this is not loading because, uh, yeah, so here's sleepy grain, pitch of pepper, nut, pitch of, yeah, this is, this is unnecessary. We shouldn't have all that stuff here. But now it's moving. What does it set to you for? I wonder why it's not grabbing something. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Let me see what it pulls out. Let me see what it pulls out and then we'll, uh, take a look. And see what's left. Yes, it's all seed stuff. Seeds and foods. Consumer, ah, it's all edible stuff. Uh, which is not on this list anywhere. So yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be in seeds, obviously. <sighs> How does that stuff get in the system, though? Do one of these things have an allow manual use and they're dropping it in, I wonder? Let me see, let's see where that thing goes. It just goes to here, but this thing didn't have edible check, did it? Did I just uncheck? Maybe I just uncheck, I don't know. I don't know, let's see, but all these things have, see, algae, yeah, boy, oh boy. Yeah, sure, I'll put it in here for now. Just to get it out of there. Block my system up. Starvation, oh, give me a break. Let's probably just for a second, right? Uh-oh, Biffy, again? God dang it. Jesus Christ, I, f I, feel, I feel like I'm getting rickrolled here. <laughs> Aluminum is fine, let me see, algae, again, we'll just set this guy up, so you do organic, that'll clear that out. And then, it's probably the same thing, right? Algae, oh, come on, give me, give me a click on it, give me a click on it. Oh, that's right, this is all the seeds and everything. Um, too bad you can't tell it to dump it out. There's enough room for them to operate here, but yeah, let me go manual use and we'll see if maybe we can't get these guys to, uh, to come and take it out. Probably not. There's a gap there, so. And the same thing here. Oh my god. Ugh. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like one of those build up in your arteries, you know? Like, it just constricts it just a little bit, but it's fine, it's fine, I'm still alive, heart's still beating, blood's still flowing. But then one day it gets a little too clogged and the whole system falls apart. Let me see, negative 41, good. Okay, let's make some progress here today. So we have trash cans, but we don't really have anything I want necessarily junk right away outside of, of course, like I said, the, uh, the stuff at the top. So maybe we should start getting, we should get started on that. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go ahead and do this. We will, um, let me disable repair on this stuff. Oh, it's already disabled there. Disable auto repair. Just basically disable auto repair and all this stuff here. All this is gonna have to come down anyways, so... Because it's just a poor build. So we will... Let me see, we'll do this. Reclaim some of these... Some of these things. Might as well go ahead and actually take all this stuff down. Start over there. We'll leave the wires and all the cables and everything up, except for the... the I think the automation could probably go too. Um, uh, automation actually was running from this to, oh, to that, hmm. And that was going because that was, uh, shutting it down, I think, right? Telling it to close? I think that's what it was. I don't remember exactly what that was for. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll disable, cancel deconstruct, but we'll disable auto repair, no deconstruct there. Alright, so people are coming up, oh. Okay. <laughs> Just gone away. Let's make sure there's no errands. Oh, see, like, what are they trying to move here? 
If I go five, there we go. So let's set it to five then across the board. Couple things dropped out. What is this? Uh, iron and whatnot. 234 degrees. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's not a lot, right? What is it? Uh, yeah, it's not a lot. So it'll be fine. There's not a lot of metals and refined stuff up here. Then it's what I have to worry about. Uh, we don't have power going up here. Like I mentioned before. Definitely a little short on power. This thing's gonna be... Uh, oh, it's only because there's so many things hooked up. So I think it'll probably be fine if we connect it to this and just make sure that only certain things are running. Yeah, so for example, like this. What does that go to? Oh, that's dumping things in there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, disable that now. Because that's just, that's just making things run, and I don't want things to run here. Oh, they're going to run this thing again. I like that they can load it from the bottom. Cool. Uh, oh, it's good. We need power for that as well. The cleanup phase, guys. The cleanup phase. Make up for my past trans transgressions. <laughs> so we'll get this thing built. Oh, that's a slow ass door. Yeah, it's gotta go. Let's gotta break that down. We'll break that down super fast, actually. And then we will put in a not insulated, I don't think it's really necessary because it's space. Just a fast tiny airlock. We'll make it out of iron. Get that built. Get that built! So this is gonna hold, uh, I think like I said, Mafic Rock, right? Mafic Rock and Regolith. Things that we have plenty of and we are gonna get more of. And what category is that under? Let me see. Filtration, Regolith, okay. And then... Raw material, mineral, uh... Okay, granites. God, that's a lot of granite. I guess it doesn't matter if the granite stays in. So Mafic Rock, which is under Raw Mineral and Filtration Medium. So Filtration Medium, Regolith, and then Mafic Rock, which is under... Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Alright, cool. So they'll move that from point A to point B once those power, once the power gets done, and then it'll just junk it. So good. Good, good, good. And we'll just continue to... Wait, can, can that thing dump directly into there? I think it can, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course it can. It's a drop-off box. So uh, yeah, I, 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 this is this. Uh, uh, let's, <laughs> all of my hydrogen is escaping, man. Get it? There we go. Thank you, Biffy. And done. Cool. All right. So gas is getting injected out of here into space, which is what we were hoping for. Uh, let's go get rid of that. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of. We'll probably leave a lot of this stuff because we have to claw through, claw through it eventually. So we won't do like bunker doors or anything like that. Nah, no bunker doors. Just clean up everything else. This whole this is, this system is so stupid. I thought for sure I could get away with this. <laughs> oh man. The things you think you can get away with. Man, <laughs> like, can I do this? Is the game gonna let me do this? The answer is no. Okay, this is never gonna get built. Speed things up. There we go. Zap, 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 zap. I want to see this stuff go in the trash. Uh oh. Oh, auto trash. See, uh, automatically empty after a given time period. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure I can make use of that mafic rock and regolith s some way. But at the same time, I believe I have lots of it. So. We clear. We're gonna clear out, clear this whole thing out, and we'll get started on this, and maybe get our asses back to space. I still have a, a, a saved screenshot from somebody that shows where, uh, how, how they have it set up, so that way they can um, just better support the uh, the ships going in and out. God, man, there's so many. This just keeps on coming down. How are we doing down here, guys? How are we doing down here? See, this is the problem. You get carried away up there and then you start losing track of what's happening down here at the base. Oh, directly. Well, we already know that's gonna go. Up to our farm! This bubble's not going away, man. It needs to go away. How's this guy doing? Negative 28.9, so it is getting colder. I believe it was uh, in the low 20s. Or I guess in this case, the high 20s. So I believe it's getting 20. Yeah, 29. Negative 29. So it is slowly getting colder. Although I don't really think it's doing much work out here. 
even though there is a transfer of heat, man, like, look, it's 100, 169 degrees going in, it comes out 194, so it is transferring, for sure. It's just, wait, is it actually getting up to the temp? Let me see, 194, and what is that out here? 212. Huh. Well, when this, gets, when this gets colder, maybe we'll experiment with, like, a radium pipe or something like that. Maybe we can make, like, one super, like, hot spot or cold spot to, uh, zap some of that steam. Just, like, one tile at a time instead of trying to do a whole group of them. That actually might be a good idea. Let's see. Yeah, let's make that change now. It's cold enough. Let's make that change now. What we'll do is we'll come down. Stop. It's gonna try to save on me. Oh, damn, too late. Like I mentioned, I don't think this is the save. I think it's just the game just being dumb. Because even if the save is set to every five cycles, it still does this every morning. Maybe it's a picture. Even though it's a tiny little picture, maybe it's still too much. Let's see, plumbing, and we'll put one radiant pipe right in the middle. Boop. Cool. Interested to see how that ends up working out. Let me see, 194. And then 162. So it's about 20, what, 24, 25 degrees or so. 26 degrees is what it's operating at. Wow, we're actually uh, running low on oil again. We need that to not happen. <laughs> like, to put it to put it simply, yeah, we need that to not happen. This thing needs to run non-stop, and we need to keep this thing backed up so we can continue making petroleum because these guys over here are the lifeblood of the base right, right at this second. Those things are supporting the base. We have no natural gas, and we have some natural gas coming in over here. That's for the cooking. That's the cooking one. Um, but yeah, this is... What is this set to? A thousand. So yeah, it's not... Uh, eh, why is this? I wonder what the deal with this is. Like, why did they... They're making steel. How much steel do we have? I kind of lost track of what we were doing over here in steel. 7.1 tons. Nice. They can continue working on that, and I'm totally fine with it. Oh, maybe there's a lack of water going in? Oh, so we have plenty of water going in. Plenty of water going in. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, oil going through, and then getting ejected. It goes through, and it gets ejected. That's fine. We are still getting, we're, we are still getting backed up here, so this is good. It's also, it's also we're maintaining something backing up here. What is this, by the way, supposed to be doing? Oh, it's just filtering out. Oh, it's filtering out the natural gas is what it's doing. But there's no natural gas over here. Oh my god, that sound. That machine kicking on. I thought somebody died. <laughs> oh, it is getting taller. I swear this bubble is uh, a little taller now. <laughs> Alright, did they do the job over here? Let's see. There's, it's all five, so we might have to do it. Yeah, we might have to do a priority look. A look at priorities here. So let's do this. Let's do this. This will be fun. Let's follow somebody. Let's pick somebody like Lindsay. Let's see what Lindsay does throughout her day here. Take a drink. Relax. Watch. And we'll see. Looks gonna go this side, Chinatown. Hmm. Ooh, a little bit faster though. Okay, so she's chilling. What, what is it? The uh, beginning of the day. So she's mostly working in here, doing her best to keep this. Uh, keep this. Keep all these things growing, even though they're under or over temp. Hmm. Let's speed things up a little bit more. Hope that was that was super fast. <laughs> Let's speed things up even more. Uh, we're actually under five hundred thousand, so we are taking a little bit of a hit in uh, food. This is gonna stand around. Well, it's like, what is her skills? What does she have to do here? What are you doing, Lindsay? See, crop tending, improved farming. Okay, cool. That's cool. Cool. Uh, we could give her both of these critter ranching. Exo suit wearing plus two athletics and a suit. That's not a bad idea. And then. Let me see. Grilling. I guess critter ranching, maybe? I'm afraid to do this because even though there's so much morale to work with, like, I, I, I still feel like we're. Uh, we're one bad situation away from like triggering the entire community. Uh, let's see, strength. Let's go ahead and do the strength. There we go. Give him, give him what he likes there. Construction? No, no, no. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> Hammer doesn't have anything. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. Tinkering, operating, me uh, mechatronics, engineering. You know, that might not be a bad idea. He's got plenty of space. Uh, and we'll do carrying as well. Get him over there. Get him over here. There we go. 
Cool. And that's all of his points, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and give him Mechatronics Engineering hat. And let's see, Chinatown, uh, he's fine doing what he's doing. I think everybody could use exosuit wearing at the very least, so that way they can navigate in those damn suits. So let's go through and do that. Let's see, Mechatronics Engineering for Woovy, of course. Then... And what's nice is once they get exosuit training, then for some of them, they're only a couple clicks away from, uh, from, from rocket piloting. Not all of them. Like, you know, obviously Killing Demon, he's ready to go. <laughs> he's ready to go to space again, man. I'm ready to go to space, too. I'm hoping we get there. Sometime soon. Boots? I mean, I don't think he's really need it, but I'll give it to him anyways. Alright, now that's enough! I hate spending so many of these points, man, because it shuts up. People are going to start being mad. Alright, so she's, uh... Alright, so she's not... Okay, now she's, she's doing some of her, um... Grooming and whatnot. That's fine. Keep her busy. Suit. Ah, I see. There's an issue here. Tiny little drop of water or something. Yep, look at that. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> somebody peed along the whole entire thing. They still didn't clean all this stuff up, though. Right there in the door. Right there in the door. Come on. Come on, guys. How we doing? Feng Shui. 106.5. That's much better. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. I would like for it to be topped off, but I think that's an improvement. See, the gas vents, it's fine. Not much I can do about that. And then, in here, boy, it's so bad. Why is it so bad right here? Insulated liquid pipe. Can they see all that stuff? Oh, they could see all this up here because of that. Um, that's fine. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Okay, are they done here? No. Get our priorities out again. So the Pitcher Pepper Nut's working great. They're uh, working on that. I'm sure I have people that are working on that. Pretty handily, handily there. Let's see, four. Oh, this this is, I'm surprised this work, works actually. The, uh, all the other ones are lower for this versus these, but I mean, it, it still just works, I guess, so. Like this is like a six and those will be a seven kind of thing. Let me see, that's fine. Valves are fine, fives for all these, eights. These things are still low because they're not being tended to. Fives. Nines for these. You know, these guys should go down a little bit because the, for the most part, these are going to take care of themselves. Like, they'll, obviously, somebody's going to come over here and take care of them. We have a few people that are, the priorities are, uh, let me see, farming. Yeah, we have a few. We can actually bump up Chaos and Biffy. Biffy has no, no, Biffy and Chaos, neither one of them actually have any, huh. I guess doctoring maybe and tidying for Biffy. Attacking. Wow, Biffy's oh, I didn't know that. Jeez. There, now we have plenty of people working on that. Now, in terms of ranching, probably just get a couple more. Lindsay will bump her a little bit. Chinatown. Uh how funny, Chinatown has the skills for it. Um, he has a hat for it, at least. <laughs> what he doesn't have. He doesn't do farming, that's funny. But yes, yeah, so we'll do that with uh, him and he'll work on those skills and get those up. Operating will bump that up for him. Uh, supplying, storing, hammer, that, that's fine because I'll keep him busy. Uh, keep, get his, uh, get his strength up, get his athleticism up. Who is this set for? Oh, first off, let me see what we got here. Blossom Seed will take it. Now let's see, uh, who's this door set for? Probably, Chi okay, so Chinatown and hammer. Got it. And uh, there's a light here. Priorities up. Unreachable. Killing demon, uh, hammer, wait, hold on a second. Oh, Chinatown and hammer. So, let's see, not allowed by schedule. Oh, because it's nighttime. Yeah, it's fine. Is this lamp not emitting enough light? <laughs> to wear down the battery? There should be two connections here, right? Let me see. Uh, oops. Yeah, so this thing's depleting and this is depleting. Um, oops, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. There's like 20 things on the stack here. Just want to click on the battery. Battery, jump a battery. Oh, oh, it's there's no uh, it's not like a smart battery. Whoops. Okay, never mind. Uh, but this will do it though, right? This has the yeah 99%. So that should do it, right? This is a uh, one stress below 99% that they'll get on it. Is there 100%? Oh, there is. Does that make him always get up there? Yeah, sure is. Look at that hammer number one. Cool. Get that athleticism up. Get these guys super quick. Okay, so we finished. We we solved this problem here of having well. 
mostly. Some clogged arteries here and there. One, two, three. There's some clogged arteries, but for the most part, we're good. Something we could deal with later. Tomorrow me, etc. What was it? Y? Nope. Uh, N. Capture that guy. Scoop him up. God, there's so many. So many pips. We should put the pips in here. It's like... I can't we can't we put the pips in here with these guys? The sage hats hatches? Are we getting coal from these dudes? We should be, right? Like a ton of it. Oh yeah, oh wow, we're, we're already up to 15.2. So we are clearly getting a lot of coal from these sage hatches. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave that there. I'm not gonna worry about um about the pips. The pips can survive on their own. They'll they'll make a they'll make a, a copy of themselves. <laughs> uh, over and over again. Much more quickly than I need to, so I don't need to do anything with them. This is crazy. Oh, over. Uh oh, what is this? Well, it's overloading dam damage for the wire, not for the unit itself. Back pressure. Yeah, it's the wire itself. So, what are we looking at here? So, we are getting pretty high up, and it's because we're making steel non stop. That's the big problem. I wonder if. <coughs> excuse me. I wonder if. I'm like, this, this doesn't need to happen. I mean, it does. Yeah, never mind. It does. This one, maybe not so much, actually. I'm just going to shut this one off just to save a little bit of power. So my priority sweep doesn't really seem to reveal anything. The power bay down here is doing great. We don't have to worry about the power bay. Um. Oh, if you're wondering what this number is, because I think I set this up in the last episode here. If you're wondering what this number is, it's uh, 62. It's how many times a dupe has walked past this sensor. Because I was testing to see how many times they were going in here. The problem is that anytime, anytime I set these guys up with a job to do over here, they walk by it a million times. So it ends up messing up my counter. And then we'll do that. There we go. So 62 times they walk by. Now let's see. Now what's going on here? So we have going on 167, same. Same, same, same. Coming out 194. Okay, so it's the same amount of transfer. But, okay, that's actually really good. It's the same amount of transfer, but it's happening in the same space. I'm sorry, it's happening in a concentrated space. So I'm hoping that maybe this does bring down the temperature of the gas right here. If you look at the steam, the temperature is all over the place. So it's like super, basically impossible to tell if this is really working or not. But, um, I mean, I guess if over time, it starts to bring it down. I think it'll, it'll, what it really determine is whether or not this continues to get colder. And if these continue to get colder, like to negative 76.6, which is like this from up here, negative six, negative, seven, negative 76.4 is what I'm thinking of. Um, if we can get to that temperature, then I think that this one concentrated piece of petroleum will have like, what will be probably, you know, in the, 30 degree range or something as it goes through and then uh, and then it'll lose a lot of the energy right here so although it's still not the thing is it's still not hitting the temperature of the area outside of the of the pipes you know what I'm saying like it goes in at 168 and it comes out at 194 but the gases in the surrounding area are still 200 over 200 so we've not reached yet a limit there. So either we use less petroleum by just making smaller globules, right? Uh, or we, which actually that's not too hard to set up real quick. Um, or we just wait for it to cool down even more, I guess, and just, you know, have a buffer there of a certain amount. So we'll do this actually, and we'll lower the amount. Right now they're, they're, glo they're globbed up. They're uh, bunched up at, looks like a thousand per. So yeah, I bet if we split it up and make it so that they're all super small little blobs going through, that'll have, um, it'll make it a little bit more efficient. It'll make it cool more, it'll make it warm up more, so maybe we'll see it reach the outside temperature. So here we go. So now there's obviously a, a, a gap here, so we need to, or we had to make a gap here. Now, we'll make this like a hundred for now, and just see what that looks like. As soon as they get over here. We got the air. Hug shot number one. We'll be number one. Okay, current air. There we go. Hug shot. Let's go. He's gonna walk by and trip my sensor over there, so keep that in mind. 
Okay, so now here we go. Now we have the tiny, tiny little globules going through at 177.2, which is about what we'd expect. And it's coming out at, ah, there we go. So now we're topping it off. That's what I want to see. I want to see us topping this off and hitting the temperature of the surrounding area because that means we are we are maximizing the effectiveness of the petroleum in the pipe. So now it's going to go through here. Now what's going on at what? One, uh, let's see, let's get those 200s. Where are they at? Oh, I guess they're cooling uh, right over here. Let's see, so 207. How oh, funny, they're already cooling just crossing this gap here. So it goes in at, yeah, because it's all pretty cold, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, so that makes sense. So it's going to go in here at 195, and it comes out at 35! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! It's exactly what I said! <laughs> oh, man. So it actually, well, actually, I said that it would do that if it got colder in that room. So this is good, because that means it's going to get even colder, colder in that room. Now the question is, is it going to warm up this space? Nope, it's still getting colder. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Uh, the Wee's Wart. Liquid pipe. Let's look at the temp shift plate. That's what I like to look. Negative 39.4. I like to look at the temp shift plate because it's very slow. So if you see it tick in one direction or the other, like that right there, now it's negative 39.5, then that's great. That means it's very slowly inching its way in that direction. It's not spur like just erratically going up and down because one piece of gas or one piece of whatever was colder than the other. It takes actual work to uh, to push that. And so cool. So that's actually getting colder, which means that it's gonna the, the liquid coming out is gonna get colder, which means that this is gonna be, be a bit more effective. So now it's a constant barrage of cold water going in. Uh, let's see, 87 degrees. Okay, so this seems to be a lot of buildup of some. Uh, okay, so there's already a, there's a buildup of, of petroleum in here that is. Um, you see, it's cooling because this is probably left over from the initial blast that we put through. If we could if we could filter this out a little bit, like drop some um, some of the liquid out easily, then that would make this a little bit easier. Uh, there is a way to do that. Let me see. Can I sense in a pipe? These are plumbing. So there's thermo, liquid pipe, germ sensor. Okay, so there's not a... Uh, okay, I was hoping there would be um, a certain amount in there. So if, it's a, if it says if it senses over 100, then it will start to dump stuff out. So I can put a sensor right here and tell it to start dumping stuff out. Because yeah, that's 10 keys of liquid. Eventually it's going to even itself out and it'll be fine. But still, that's a lot of liquid right there. Cool. Hey, look at that. That bubble's gone. Should we just, what should we do? Should we, should we say it was this? Or should we say it was uh, this? Or should we say it was having these things turned off? I don't know. <laughs> but this, this room is on, the, is, on the, is on the path to recovery. And that is probably the most important thing is that that room eventually comes around and it's, uh, and it's saved. Now, what are we working on over here? Oh, that's, this thing broke. Oh, nice. So they're just manually moving the stuff over. You know what? I'm fine with that. It's not hard work or anything. It's made out of lead. Boy, that was super smart. What is this made out of? Lead? That's fine. It's not putting up any, any energy. Okay. Shipping. Well, shit. We can just go ahead and just do this. And start moving this guy down. Let's tear that up. Make another one. This one's going to be made out of steel. Because we can. As soon as they get over here and take this things out. Okay. <laughs> Come on, we gotta wrap it up. Steel, good. And then, uh, so now we need to, now we need to start to adopt a, a path to get there. So we're gonna need to get a conveyor receptacle, uh, or a pair, I guess, conveyor loader. Ah, that's why it's confusing, because they both have the same look visually, but they actually have completely different functions on the back end. And then we'll start to... What's that made out of? Steel! That's fine. Now now it's fine, because we have so much of it. Except for not this, though. It's iron ore. There you go. Oh, you know we don't need to do all that stuff? Oh, wait. Um, Does that need power, too? If that needs power as well, then we might as well move the trash can. Like, what's the point of moving this thing? Yes, it does eat power. Okay, so then we'll kill this, cancel this, and what we'll do is we'll just start moving the trash can down. So let's do this then. Come on. Thank you, Marfa. And then what we'll do is we'll just make a nice little, let me see, 
shipping, so we'll make this steel. Can I turn it sideways, squeeze it even more? Kind of. Does it actually give you any No, it doesn't really give me any more space there. Oh, it does actually. Yeah. Kind of. Let me see. And then conveyor loader. No, we want trash. Tr trash, trash bin. Da da da. Solid trash can. And we'll just do this. And then we'll. Conductive wire. So what we'll do is we'll just continue copying this whole thing and moving it down and moving it down and moving it down. Eventually we'll get through all of it. Then we'll copy these settings and put them on this one. It's built. Too bad you can't do that beforehand. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, there's someone's going right now. It's a long way to get that steel and then come all the way back up. Oh, they had to dig a hole. <laughs> Okay, I guess I forgot that would be, uh, they would need to space like that. I just assumed that it would be good. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, so now we'll copy settings here. For you. There we go. And we'll set it to auto trash. Zap, zap, zap. Good. Zap all that mafic rock. Get it out of here. Get rid of that. How are you going up here with everything else, though? Fine. It's still a mess. Complete mess. We're going to tear it all down. We'll do scaffolding the whole nine. Try to practice with that scaffolding, actually. Choose blueprint. Coal. Uh, pufflet egg. Sure, that sounds fine. Let's go and throw a pufflet egg in here. Drag the eggs, fine. Let's throw a pufflet egg. We don't necessarily need a pufflet, but that'd be kind of fun to have just a few just floating around. We do have enough, uh, nasty gas floating around, I think. Let me see. Gas. Eh, not really. Just tiny little blops. Blips, blops, whatever, here and there. Okay, so let's see what the temperature of this water is here. 68. Cool, it's getting colder and colder. Excellent. But it's transferring all of that energy, and that's the key thing, is that we transfer every bit of energy we can, maximize the efficiency. Now, we could increase the flow to see if we still achieve the same results, but then we'd put more of a, more pressure on this room uh, when it's trying to cool itself. So I think the small globules for now is fine. Negative 40, yeah, negative 43.2, so it's, it's getting colder. Cool. Speaking of getting colder, Oh, wow. We got deep blue now. Negative 67. What is this guy at? 75. So yeah, these guys are freaking out because they're no liquid. <laughs> oh, what's that for? What's, um... Oh, it needs iron. Oh, was it fed something? It had to have been fed something. Has that been there the whole time? Can I suppress that warning? Oh no, <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and then it just destroys itself, it's like, what happened? All right, yes, yeah, so we're not getting any water through right now, but it's gonna start up very soon. I'm curious what it'll look like when it comes through. Um, again, this thing needs to read negative 75. Let's do negative 67, just turn on the water and see what it looks like, negative 65. Let's see, so the water's on now, so it comes in at what? 140 degrees. Well, that's actually a bad example. We had to use one of the smaller ones. 140 degrees, okay, still. So let these first ones go through. They're not going to make that much of a difference. 130 is pretty warm. Uh, but these guys, small guys, 78 degrees. Yes. That's great. 79 degrees. Excellent. And those things spring right up. They spring right up. And this shouldn't have... Yeah, this shouldn't have a negative impact on this long term. But we, we're going to continue to move this thing down, though. They can live without sleep wheat for a little while longer. I have 422,000 more kilocalories. And we have tons of mealwood we could go through. If we need to. We are prepared to make those kinds of sacrifices if we need to. But I think we're good. I think this is good. We have a good setup here. I'm really sorry about the missing episode. I mean, trust me, it hurts me more than it hurts you. Um, but at least uh, I think I got you guys all caught up in everything that may have been missed. Assuming I can't somehow unrecover or recover that thing. Uh, this natural gas down here building up is a bit of a problem. I mean, that's a lot of natural gas. So maybe we'll move this thing down to the bottom and just have it just kind of slowly filter down. Because what we're looking for is natural gas. Not oxygen, not polluted oxygen, not hydrogen. So maybe that's the best way to do it. Before this room was totally full, but now we have oxygen all over the place. I think we dropped some of it from here. Then we have hydrogen build up and blah, blah, blah. This is hilarious, man. Like, we're just, like, not racking up oil. Uh, but we're also not running out of petroleum. We've been kind of floating around this midsection here. And this is like our meter, right? We've been floating around this midsection here for a good while. So I'm surprised that that's all... That, that, that we're able to survive off of just this little drip of oil that we're getting. Uh, also helps around making plastic anymore. Do we need to? Um... 
Manufactured material, plastic, 29.8 tons. No, we don't need to at all. <laughs> Not in the slightest bit. 1,515 cycles. We're starting to kind of tap, kind of tap, tap, tap our way through. Space. What's the deal here? Uh, to find, oh, that's right, this is not, uh, we go six. There we go, so we're, yeah, again, we're, we're slowly making our way up into space here. Clean up all of our mess, start from scratch, build, you build a new, better, like, silo type system. Um, something to support this, and, and yeah, go from there. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited to try to get fucking space again, man, I'm serious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Mike B. This auction not included adventures. The, uh, the intimate version without chat. And I'll see you guys later.